called Cheap Date, and I'm going to be using Zipper for my lips this morning. And Zipper is so beautiful. It's a purple color on the lips, but it's not super dark, so it's one of my favorites. And if you know me by now, you know the favorite color is purple. Um, I hope all you guys are doing well. Spotlight. Let's talk about the spotlight technique. The spotlight te technique is when you have eyeshadow that really pops just in the center of your lids on top and bottom. So I want to show you guys how to do that. It's a little more of a... Um, you're, you're doing good. Technique is not what you're missing. No, no worries. If you guys have any questions, be sure to um, ask. I'm always willing. We'll go Amazon order. Okay, so it's when you have color that really pops in the center of your bottom and top lid. Sometimes you can just do your top lid. You don't always have to do your bottom. It is up to you. It is your choice. Um, so, you know, that's that. Uh, it is a little bit more advanced, but be patient with yourself if you try this look. It's it's not as hard as you think. I think sometimes we start looking at stuff and it takes a lot of steps. It's not really that difficult. We already are like, nope, can't do it. It's going to be hard. So, <clears throat> And yes, my hearts are purple because that is my favorite color. Oh my gosh. Drop everything. Okay, guys. So without further ado, if you have not already shared with your friends and followers on social media be sure to tap the guy in the bottom right hand corner i see that the hearts are going up so i thank you for the heart party if you guys could keep that going on throughout uh the broadcast i would greatly appreciate it last but not least um we're almost to a thousand followers so what i'm gonna do when we, when i reach a thousand followers here on scope or i don't like to say followers a thousand scopers i'm going to be giving away a one-on-one um, -on -one FaceTime makeup tutorial so be sure to share with everyone so we can get that going all right so without further ado first step always is to prime the eyes I have to save time I have done my entire foundation regimen so I have um, did my highlight contour foundation and set everything it, today will be just about the eyes just an FYI <coughs> and I'll switch it up <coughs> excuse me you guys I'll switch it up no it's okay because I'm gonna do FaceTime with you so you would be able to uh, be a part of the the one-on-one -on -one. Hey, good morning, Henny Honey. Thanks for tuning in. How are you? Okay, so as I'm putting on my eyeshadow base or primer, it's a Soft Okra by MAC. Which I have to tell you guys, I feel like is already drying out. Which was one of my complaints about getting paint pots from MAC. But I'm going to fight through it and figure out how you can um, re-wet it. So if any of you guys have paint pots, I will uh, figure that out as I go through that. But NYX um, Skin Tone is a really good eyeshadow primer, and it's not that expensive. Okay, when you are doing your um, spotlight eyeshadow, there's something you're going to do a little differently when you're doing your transition color. The first thing is, I'm going to use a smaller brush, and it's the Morphe M507 to put my transition color on. And the Morphe brush has a, it is a blending brush. This particular one is a blending brush, and it has a point to it, but the, the uh, other parts are rounded. And what that does, it's going to allow you to have more precision, but still blend at the same time. So, <clears throat> that's why I chose this brush for the transition color. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so excuse all this, like, sounds like I have mucus or something. 
Okay, so I'm working out of the Morphe palette. It is the 35K. And I'll show you guys the colors. A lot of neutral tones in there. And I am using this color right here for my transition color. I am going to darken it up a bit once I use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a guide for the spotlight. And I'm going to go right into my crease, skip the center, and go to the other side. Thank you for asking. My uncle is doing better. He, um, he's not out of the woods quite yet. He is breathing on his own. They took the feeding tube out, so that's a blessing. I'm actually going this weekend to go see him. I've never used face primer for eye primer, and I would say no because the primer for your face is usually more liquidy, and the primer that you would use for your lid is usually cream. And so because of that, you would definitely want to get an eyeshadow primer because the consistencies are different. Yes, yes, amen for progress. He is getting there. All right, and then I'm going to take my transition color and bring it on down. Yes, he is a healer. And to be honest, I'm really excited because, you know, he he really wasn't supposed to <clears throat> make it through the night the, the day that um, I had announced that he was sick on Periscope. So, yeah. So I switched to a, a medium blending brush, and now I'm just taking that same color, and I'm going right to the sides, on both sides, and following my eye shape and doing windshield wipe, or actually a C-shape motion on both sides. And bringing it in. Alright, now the other side. Switching back to the Morphe 50, M507 brush. Going into the crease and around a little bit. Skipping the center, other side. And this part, if you end up putting too much transition color into the crease or if you end up getting too close to the center, it's really okay. Um, especially if it's your first transition color, it'll be fine because you'll end up blending a lot of that away. So don't really stress if you, and if you notice the little skip that I have in between is not going to be perfect because this is again, just a guide, just a transition. You're going to do a lot of different things before the look is complete. So don't stress if that is not exact. The only thing that really needs to be exact is how much center that you leave open for your transition color. I mean, transition color for your spotlight color. All right, and I am just getting in there. Blending in the transition color. So it's almost as if instead of your transition color being the whole width here and bringing it up, now your transition colors are almost like um, each corner of your eye. Alrighty, almost there. <laughs> Good morning, Dominique. Okay. So, after that is done, 
I'm now going to take this medium blending brush, make sure that it's clean, and I'm going to take <clears throat> a darker tone of brown, which is still out of the Morphe palette, and it's right here, and I'm going to go back in there and where, where it's a little closer to the spotlight, I'm adding the dark, the darker tone. Though I feel like this brush is not working for me. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to switch brushes. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Morphe brush. And the eye space that's going to be in the center, like, when you do your spotlight color, you will make sure that that is perfectly center and that it's the same width. So this part right here is not a huge deal. You just need to leave some space open. Alright, almost getting there. Last but not least, I'm going to take this angled brush. This is not from Coastal Scents. Um, I really think it's just a random off brand that I found from a beauty supply, but it's angled and it's fluffy. So you guys can see, I love this brush for what I'm about to do. I'm going to take a black tone and just grab a little bit of product from it, just a smidge, because I do want this look to be more of a brownish tone than, um, than black. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, this one doesn't even, it is so off-brand, it doesn't even have a name on it. It's like, it just has a number. So what I'm going to do is take the tip of that brush and curve out just a little bit more. And blend it out into the brown. And what this is doing is just creating a little bit more depth to the eyeshadow look. Like a lot of times because I have brown skin, when I do brown eyeshadows and try to do an entire look, um, sometimes it's not visible. So I like to add a smidge of um, a black tone just to deepen up the brown a little bit. I remember I attempted a brown smoky eye one time and it just didn't work. It didn't work that well for me. Because I love that brown smoky eye look. Alright, almost there. And as you can see as I'm using the brush, I am kind of making a C shape. Now going back to the medium blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out into the brown. And as I'm blending, I'm doing circular motions. Blend, blend, blend. You guys are so quiet today. Is it because it's close to the weekend? Is that why? Are you guys just really paying attention? Alright, so time for the spotlight color. <clears throat> I'm using Morphe's Cheap Date. This is complicated. Alright, I'm using... Uh, <laughs> I love that you guys are... 
You guys are so funny. I love it. Okay, so I'm using more, not Morphe. I'm using ColourPop's Cheap Date. I'm going to swatch it out on my hand for you guys. Let me get, when it comes to um, ColourPop's eyeshadows, they're like gel-like consistency. And, <laughs> okay, good to know. I just like to ask. Uh, it's like a gel-like consistency, so when you use it, it um, it comes on, on a little weird. But it's super vibrant and pigmented. That is the color I am using today. So beautiful. Alright, so using this stiff flat brush, because those are the brushes that work the best with um, Color Pops eyeshadows, I'm just going to go in the center. And apply that color. Yes, this color is everything cheap date. First of all, their names are a little crazy. Yes, it's super metallic. Ah, gotcha. You guys are funny. You guys are sneaking and watching makeup tutorials at work. I love it. I love your, your uh, dedication. Thank you for tuning in. It doesn't go on sticky. <clears throat> but it is like gel, so it like, uh, you kind of have to rub it around. It's not sticky at all. It feels, it feels regular, but it does, it, it is a weird, um, consistency as far as getting used to. So as I'm putting it on, like notice I started in the center and then I'm using the rest of it without adding more product and I'm lightly tapping it into the color. Top five ColourPop eyeshadows. So I like um, Cheap Date, Game Face, um, uh, On the Rocks, uh, Envy. There's one more. Hold on. Is it Dare something? Double Dare? Those are the ones that I like. You are welcome. Thanks, Chloe, for, uh, I missed that. It is. Double Dare is a blush. <clears throat> Let me look in the, um, I might have gotten confused, you guys. I have so many, uh, let's see. Let me look at it. Let me make sure. Okay, so it's not called Double Dare. It's just called Dare from ColourPop. Alright, so I still have no product on the brush. I am just blending out. Cheap Date, Double Dare, Envy. Oh, now you got me. Uh, game Face, Cheap Date, Double. Cheap Date, Dare, Envy, Game Face, On the Rocks. Alright. So, oh, and another thing is when you do this, uh, when you use these eyeshadows, you want to make sure that you close the lid really, really tight. But because it's like a jelly -like consistency, it dries out and it'll be done. No good. So make sure you do that. Now going back with the Morphe brush. Where's my Morphe brush? Where are you? Okay. Now going back with the... Um, Millionaire. I seen it, um, but I didn't get it because I had purchased Game Face, and I was just I was just buying too many in one sitting. So I was like, I'll come back to Millionaire. But they have a lot of pretty colors. And then of course I have, I'm working on the repeat buying. So going back to um, 
the Morphe palette and the Morphe brush. I'm just going to grab a little bit more of a deeper brown tone and I am going to define just the crease a bit more and bring it up. You know what? They are kind of they are very similar. All right, almost done with the eyes because the bottom will be really quick <clears throat> on what I'm going to do to get the spotlight. All right, can I get a time check? Because I feel like I'm running behind today. What time is it, guys? Jay's in here acting up. Is he? 22. Thank you. Okay, so for the eyeliner today, keeping it simple this week, be back to wing liner. Thank you. Appreciate it, you guys. I'm going to come in a little bit closer and starting in the center and working my way out to the outer corner to get the thicker line in the outer corner. And I am using a gel liner from Bobbi Brown called Black Ink. No, I'm not going to do a wing liner today. I know wing liner isn't simple. It takes a while to get it together, but to be honest, because I do wing liner more often than I do a regular liner, sometimes I struggle more with this one. All right, and the other side. I will say when it comes to the liner. What is Jason talking about? I keep missing his comments. Are you over here acting up, Jason? Makes me look. <laughs> well, maybe your line is too thick, Jason. You really got to um, make it thinner. And, you know, I don't know if it would really go well with the beard, you know. It might be too much. It's competing with the beard, Jason. All right. He wouldn't be Jay Noir if he didn't bring the comedy. You are so funny. All right, so really quickly, I was going to say that when it comes to ColourPop's eyeshadows, especially the metallic ones, what ends up happening is that it will, um, sometimes when you're putting on your gel liner, it will smear into the liner. So um, be careful of that when doing your eyeliner. Now after I do that, I am going to go back over with a liquid liner. This is from NYC and I got it from Target. It's just a regular liquid liner. All right. All right, so now that 
Um, you know, to be honest, when it comes to ColourPop, I can't, I don't know if it really dries. I don't know if their eyeshadow really dries. Something just spilled all over me and I have no idea what it was. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so I am going to go into the waterline. And I'm using a brown eyeliner from LA Girl. And I'm going through the entire waterline. Oh. Okay, and for that, I'm going to do the Morphe brush, and I'm going to take the transition color, go right underneath. Yeah, that does make sense, actually. And I'm going to go right under the eye with the transition color. Sorry, you guys, I'm zooming through now, but I've got to get the boy to school. And I am doing the entire bottom with a brown tone. It's the entire bottom lid. And then I'm going to take Cheap Date. <clears throat> Thank you, Henny Honey. And then I'm going to take Cheap Date and just go in the center of the bottom lid. But it is kind of fighting me to do that. All right, almost there, ladies. All right, and just because I feel like ColourPop, it's just really hard sometimes to get the tone that I want. I am underneath the bottom lid just because of the consistency. I'm just going to take the brown tone and just clean up and make sure that it's in the center. Oh, yay. You can really do this with any color. I'm going to do it with the even more vibrant color tomorrow. Okay, so eyeshadow and wrapping it on up. Eyeshadow, eye, eyeshadow, uh, blush, I'm going to be using my favorite Fever by MAC. Well, create the look and take pictures and show us. All right, and then blending in that blush a little bit more. Oh, your eyes are hooded. You can do it. Ask Chloe. She's team hooded eyes. And she shows the looks and you can see them. You know, there's just different techniques that you use to get it, to get your um, hooded eyes to pop more and to see the color. I have used blush for eyeshadow before. It's really made out of the same stuff if you're doing a powdered blush. All right, and I'm just using gold to positive the high points 
of my face, so like my cheeks, my um, nose, <laughs> Chloe will keep you together and tell you if you're headed eyes or not, just so you guys know. Alright, now it's time for the lip color. What did I spill on myself? Alright, so for the lip color, I'm using Zipper by ColourPop as well. And Zipper, although I feel like I could, I could use a little bit more blush. Thank you. I'm about, to, I'm about to wrap it up. I'm about to wrap it up. Thank you, though. So for zipper, I'm going to use chestnut lips, and I'm going to prime the lips with this ColourPop primer. And is this, yeah, chestnut, I'm going to line. Sometimes the line is not necessary with some of their colors, because it's going to get covered up anyway. Alright, so swatching out zipper, oops, that was a lot, zipper is this purple tone, so pretty. Alright, coming in closer. You know what? Zipper looks like a color from LA Girl that I already have. And I and I remembered that. And I was kind of sad. Repeat buying again. Except for I feel like um, when it comes to ColourPop, ColourPop's colors last longer. And this is the completed look for the day. Now you can use, because you did a, um, a golden tone, you can use any lip color that's bold that you feel comfortable with. So, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So this um, look is bold, it's different, and it just kind of allows you to play with color on your lips. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of that. Although I could do one more coat on the bottom here. What am I doing? Hold on. Okay. So. Yes, it does dry matte. It's their ultra matte line. So I'm going to head hurry off, guys, because I have to take my son to school. But this is the complete look. I will post pictures on Instagram and on Facebook. Please be sure to follow me on all social media. And if you have not, please be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with another spotted eyeshadow look, spotlight eyeshadow look. But this time, it is going to be with color, and it's going to pop even more for the week. So you guys have a wonderful day. Red is, is for your skin tone. Oh wait, I missed that. I totally missed that, Chloe. I'm sorry. If it's for you, could you please email it to me? Because I gotta run on out of here. You guys have a fabulous, wonderful day, beauties. Mwah. See you guys later.